Hello my friends and welcome back to another Super Mario Maker 2 video. By now you guys know how much I love the 1-1 but, the 1-2 but levels and I'm back again with another one, this time 1-3. So this 1-3 creator does not have a super world, however they have uploaded a good ton of 1-3 butt levels. We're going to take a look at some of them. I don't know if we're going to get through all of them today, but we're going to try and get through as many as we can, and maybe it'll be a part two, depending on if you guys want to see more. So let's go ahead and fire it on up. So we're going to start at the very bottom of this 1-3 creators levels. As you can see, it's 1-3, but classic. Uh, let's just go ahead and dive into this. Now, the thing about 1-3, it's pretty apparent. 1-1 is the most iconic and most well-known level of all time. 1-2, also very well-known, also very iconic. But 1-3 is a level, you know, it's when it starts not getting as much love, you know? Uh, usually, every time someone plays Mario 1, they go to 1-2, they skip to World 2, 3, or 4, and 1-3 does not get played nearly as much as 1-1 and 1-2. So it's really cool to see that this tradition is uh, continuing. I'm really excited to play more. That felt really accurate to the original 1-3. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what levels come our way uh, with, this crea with this creator's levels. All right, let's go into the second level, 1-3, but it's an easy speed run. I like the sounds of this because I like easy and I like speedruns. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Here we go! 20 seconds. Oh boy. Probably still gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> Called it. Let's try it again. Whenever I see speedrun, I'm automatically thinking like, oh, I, I need to get world record here. You know what I mean? Instead of just like trying to beat the level, I see speedrun, I'm like, okay, I have to go all out, no stop, even though the title of the level is Easy Speedrun. Nope. Not for me! Nothing's easy! Ah, it felt pretty good. Definitely not world record. I pulled back there at the end. If I had uh, done a couple different jumps, we probably could have got maybe a uh, perfect time, but... Still, really fun. Next up, we have 1-3, but you're a giant. As you're noticing, something I'm liking already is when we did the 1-2, it was really fun, but there was not a real challenge. It's already looking like there's going to be some challenging levels. As you can see, the clear rate is under 2%. So for me, this is exciting. I love a good challenging level. And uh, I, yeah, I'm really excited to keep playing these. And to no surprise, the clear condition is we have to reach the goal as big... Mario. Oh boy. Okay, so we gotta be careful. Basically, this is Mario, but be careful with your jumps. Uh. Oh, <laughs> dang it. That was a really. Ah, oh, really bad jump. There we go. That was really dumb. Instead of instead of being patient and letting the Koopa walk, I, I got impatient and led to bad things. There we go. Hey. Oh no. The ending you probably all saw coming. Everyone but me, that is. I was like, oh yeah, we did it. This wasn't too bad. There we go. All right. That was scary. It was a good run. I was scared I was going to somehow blow it, but thankfully, we didn't. And yeah, we got world record to boot. All right, it was worth it. Ooh, next up, we have one three. But it's a castle. You see Bowser's fortifying the axe. It's our job to smack it. All right, one, three, but it's a castle. Ooh. 
I love these are really good levels. I am so glad we're playing these. As I mean, y'all know at this point that I really enjoy them. I like how instead of the red Koopas, it's the Mecha Koopas with a spiny on top. We got the blue Mecha Koopas, the laser breath. Oh man, this is really good. These levels are excellent. Whoa! There we go. This is really fun, man. I, I'm so glad. It all started with War Spy Kings 1 1 Super World, which, again, is probably my favorite thing I've ever played in Mario Maker 2. Uh, and then it's just kind of evolved into other creators doing their own spins on the 1 1. We got 1 2, and now it's. It's really fun playing these 1-3 uh, butt levels as well. Next up, we have 1-3, but Yoshi is here. Now, obviously, Super Mario Brothers, Yoshi was not in the game. So this is, gives us a chance to, to pretend that Yoshi was alive back in 1985. Ooh, gotta grab all 90 coins. Oh, that's clever. Oh. Utilizing Yoshi. I love this. I really, really like this. I don't know. If, will this have a coin in it? No. Not really. Oh, we gotta be careful here. If you mess this up. I don't know if you'd have to restart or not. I guess the Koopa might reappear. This is really fun. There's something to be said about just really fun levels, you know? Oh, I was going to say, how do I get those? But I forgot Yoshi can eat through the walls. That was clever. Just a downright fun level. Was it really difficult? No. Was it fun? Off the charts, top shelf fun. Now we have one, three, but you can't eat. I don't know what that really means. Uh, from the thumbnail, it looks like you can't get a mushroom. So maybe they're gonna be like floating mushrooms. I don't know. Let's, uh, that's that's the exciting part about these levels is you don't really know what to expect until you start it up. So, yep, we gotta avoid the salads. Well done, Dave. No salad for Mario. I love these levels. These levels, I really enjoy. Oh, heck. Wait a second. Wait a second. Can I cheese this? Is there potential cheese? No, there is not. Actually, there is there is potential cheese, but it would be hard to do. If we could get the big mushroom here, we could definitely beat this level. We could cheese this level. But It'd be really, really hard to get the big mushroom here. Really hard. Like if we if we took that big mushroom, there's a chance we could cheese that. But I think it'd be a little too difficult. I think it's gonna be a lot e easier to just jump into the hole and never come out. There we go. Easy. Peasy. But yeah, I think we could have got the big mushroom. Cheese was there, but I think the cheese would have been a lot harder than actually just beating the <laughs> beating the level normally. So we'll take it. And another world record. Let's go. I know these world records will last maybe five minutes, but we can say we had them for a minute. One three, but switching is up next. This is our first foray into 3D world style. Okay. On our way. We gotta be smart about this. Oh, bad jump. Jumped right into the Koopa's face. <laughs> that could have gone better. Alright, alright, we're doing good here. Just take our time. No rush. There we go. That was fun. That was a fun level. Again, these I love I love the creativity 
the creators show when they make these. Yes, I know it's taking an existing level and kind of, uh, you know, working with it. But I still think it shows tremendous creativity to make these kinds of levels. And I love playing them. What about 1-3, but it's an airship? My guess is this is going to be an auto-scroller. Y'all know I love a good auto-scroller. Yep! When I saw the world record was a minute something, I'm like, yeah, this is an auto-scroller. That being said, I still think it's a good idea for a level. And it's staying true to the original as well, which is really neat. That should be a power up, right? Boo. Like it, this is this is very strange because it resembles one three, but also feels completely different. <laughs> like I can still tell it's one three, but if you were to close your eyes, like and have just started playing this level, you you might not have noticed that this is a remake of. 1-3 because it definitely feels different enough I like that it ends with a boss fight though I appreciate that a lot I appreciate that it ends in a boss fight just like the airships in actual Mario 3, airships end with a Koopaling boss fight. Very cool. Nice little touch there. Really appreciate that. All right, now let's look at 1-3, but it's flooded. All right, now let's look at 1-3, but it's flooded. My guess, will this be like a, a water level? Will the water be rising? Yes, it will be. And it's rising very fast. Holy rip. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, Dad Gummit. This is a this is what you call a flash flood with how fast that water's rising. Now I don't know if the water will it stay super high or will it come down. Does not look like the water's coming down, so we're just gonna swim at the top. Except for there, we're gonna okay. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Just keep swimming. Holy rip! Some uh, formidable challenge there. That clear rate was deceivingly high. That level's a lot uh, more difficult than it it looks. That was fun though. That was I, I like. There's a nice difficulty balance going on here, and I I appreciate it. It's really fun. Oh goodness, one three, but it's upside down. Yay! This one actually had a pretty decently low clear rate, like a four and a half percent. So that's uh. Oh, so it, it it's like actually upside down. Ha! <laughs> We're, that's actually really cool. We're, and it's kind of tripping my brain out a little bit. <laughs> so the level isn't upside down. Mario's just upside down. And the enemies too, of course. Wow. This is like really screwing with my brain. <laughs> that was weird. That was really weird. If you look at the level without looking at Mario, everything seems perfectly normal. But when you look at Mario, who's jumping from underneath the platforms, yeah, that'll mess with your brain. How about 1-3, but the lava rises to the top. One, three, but the lava rises. Not really sure why this creator didn't put this into a super world. I think it would have been cool to uh, have this as a super world. That's a nice little indicator to show you how high the lava rises. The thing about having the levels in a super... The thing about having a super world is that... Um, 
you don't know, like, you don't get a thumbnail preview, so it, it really... Everything seems... Oh, gosh! Don't jump! Okay, good deal. I was terrified Bowser was gonna jump there and... <laughs> wreck the run. But yeah, when it's a super world, you don't know what kind of level's coming up. Because this isn't a super world, I get a little bit of a preview by looking at the thumbnail. Which, you know, it doesn't spoil anything, but it takes a little bit away from the... You know, suspense. Next up, it looks like we have a hard one. It's called 1-3, but you are Midas. As you can see, 1% clear rate. Very low. Meaning it's probably going to be a pretty uh, pretty good challenge, which I always like. So I'm guessing we can't touch coins. I mean, or peas, I guess. Oh, because everything you touch turns to gold. That's the legend of Midas, right? Everything you touch turns to gold. Now, what makes this a little bit trickier is the slippery ice physics. I like this idea. Just one good idea after another by this creator. Just, And they're not the same ideas that I, you know, played... Ah, first try. They're not the same ideas that I played in all the 1-1s one or the 1-2 one Super Worlds. These are actually fresh and new, which I appreciate. And I can't believe we one-shot at that, to be honest. Let's look at a few more in this episode. Next up, 1-3, but it's warm. So I'm going to assume there's an angry sun coming after us throughout this. Uh, I guess we'll see if I'm right or wrong. We are right. And it's an auto-scroller. Oh, boy. I think an auto-scroller makes sense in this level because it's going to make it a lot more challenging. Trying to predict where the sun is going to swoop at, which will then obviously melt our platforms that we need to jump to. So this is uh, really, really neat. I like this a lot. See, that the sun just completely obliviated the top platform. This is cool! It's not just a, you know, 1-3 with a sun in it. It actually, the sun has a meaning to it, which I really appreciate. Again, this, uh, this creator has really impressed me with their level so far, and the creativity in them. Some of the 1-1 one, one, and 1-2... One, what I was saying, some of the 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, levels that I've played after War Spy Kings felt, you know... I don't want to say a cash-in. I, I think the creators were doing their best to... Uh, you know, make something special. But they also saw how popular those levels were and I think wanted to get in on some of the, the hype instead of trying to add something new and fresh. But this actually feels really fresh. Like I'm, I'm really enjoying my time playing these levels. Oh gosh, well, didn't have much of a platform there. <laughs> I was just jumping, I'm like, take me home, Pike Boy. I know you gotta be there somewhere. Finally, we grabbed it. How about this one? 1-3, one, but it's cat parkour. As you can see, another really difficult one. 1%, 1 1.5% uh, 1 clear rate. These these are the ones that get me really excited. Ones that I know I'm going to actually have to work for. Not that there's anything wrong with the easier ones. Those present, you know, awesome challenges as well. But these ones are the ones that really get me going, if you know what I mean. So we can't leave the ground, essentially. Oh, boy. Oh, I die. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree with that. This is a really another really good idea. And this is an idea that could only be done uh in 1-3. This this idea couldn't probably have been done in the 1-1. One, one. 
Ah, 1-1 one, one or 1-2 one, style levels. This is one that I feel like only works in 1-3. I guess I don't need to cat dive every time, do I? All right, we're doing all right. We're doing good here. So far, so good. There we go. Very good, very, very good. Really like that. One of my favorites so far, actually. Uh, just again, because it's it's a uh, one that only could have been done in this style. We're gonna take a look at one, maybe two more, depending on how long this next one takes, because it's gonna be really hard. One, three, but it's a hammer fortress. As you can see, the lowest clear rate by far with a 0.81, less than a 1% clear rate, only two people have cleared it. Now, the world record's 23 seconds, so it's pretty fast paced, but let's just see how we do. Expecting some difficult things. There are hammer bros everywhere. Ha, I was to say, how have I not died yet? Now I'm dead. I'm wondering if I should attempt to go for, the, I was to say, go for the power, because this gives us some iframes to work with. I think we just nailed this. I think we just nailed this. And then I spoke. Oh. All right, we got some we got some something cooking here. We got something cooking. Hold up. Let him cook. I disagree with that, but you know. Oh, how did that not count? All right, baby, this is the run. Take a good look. You're about to witness some gaming. I meant this one, gang. You know what I meant. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm done calling my shots. Yo, okay, now, never mind. I was gonna say, ah! I was gonna say we, we kept the mushroom. We should beat it this time. Nope. I disagree. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was terrifying. I just expected a normal Bowser at the end, and what we got was Bowser with a three stack on his head. I was just ready to run and jump over Bowser. That was not how uh, this level had it envisioned. Well, friends, I think that's a good stopping point for today, but as you can see, there are a ton more levels we can check out. So let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more of these. Also, leaving a like on the video helps me tremendously because it lets me know that you wanna see more of these videos. Now, if you wanna check out these levels for yourself, here is 1-3's level creator code. I'll put it in the description of the video as well if you wanna check them out. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.